A Retrieved Reformation, authored by the prolific American short story writer O. Henry, initially appeared as a retrieved reform within the Cosmopolitan magazine in 1903. The narrative exemplifies realism, a literary movement that gained popularity in the United States and Europe from the aftermath of the American Civil War until the early 20th century. Realism delves into the ordinary existences of regular individuals, employing intricate portrayals and vernacular exchanges. The storyline of A Retrieved Reformation draws inspiration from the real-life encounters of the writer William Sidney Porter, who underwent several years of imprisonment for embezzlement and adopted the pseudonym O. Henry during his time behind bars. The plot unfolds primarily in Elmore, Arkansas, during the early 1900s. At the commencement of the tale, Jimmy Valentine is confined in a prison, mending shoes in the penitentiary's cobbler shop. A guard escorts him to the warden's office, where he receives a pardon bearing the governor's signature, accompanied by counsel, to lead an upright life. Astonishingly, Jimmy serves a mere ten months of his four-year sentence. The subsequent day, attired in penitentiary attire and carrying five dollars, Jimmy emerges as a free man. Following a hearty meal, he boards a train departing the town, ultimately arriving at a cafe owned by his old acquaintance Mike Dolan. It is Dolan who maneuvered behind the scenes to secure Jimmy's release. Ascending to his lodgings above the cafe, Jimmy finds his surroundings unchanged since the day of his apprehension, even spotting a button that once belonged to the renowned detective Ben Price, misplaced during the arrest struggle. Jimmy reclaims a suitcase harboring his personalized burglary tools, valued at nearly $1,000. Donning finer attire, he embarks on a new criminal venture in the outside world. Approximately a week after Jimmy's liberation, a sequence of safe robberies unfolds, each executed using Jimmy's distinctive techniques and flair. Sufficient losses accumulate, catching Price's attention. He resolves to apprehend Jimmy once more, ensuring he serves his entire prison term. Price is intimately acquainted with Jimmy's exploits, and those possessing supposedly burglar-proof safes feel a greater sense of security with Price hot on the pursuit. Jimmy's journey takes him to Elmore, a quaint Arkansas town, with a well-formed scheme to pilfer the sole bank in the area. Strolling along the sidewalk towards the hotel, he notices a young woman walking past, eventually entering the bank. Their eyes meet, and an unexpected transformation sweeps over Jimmy. Meanwhile, the young lady averts her gaze, her cheeks tinted with a flush, unable to resist Jimmy's charm and evident fascination. Jimmy approaches a local boy, inquiring about the town and the enigmatic young woman. Just as she exits the bank and deliberately ignores Jimmy, the boy informs him that she is Annabelle Adams, the daughter of the proprietor of Elmore's bank. Upon reaching the hotel, he registers under the alias Ralph D. Spencer. Engaging the clerk in conversation, he discusses his intent to establish a business in Elmore, pondering the potential for opening a shoe store. The clerk finds the notion favorable, and Jimmy proceeds to his room, accompanied by his suitcase brimming with tools. In the guise of Mr. Ralph Spencer, Jimmy sets up a thriving shoe emporium in Elmore. He forms numerous acquaintances and, in due course, crosses paths with Annabelle Adams. Their relationship deepens over time, culminating in an engagement a year later. Ralph is warmly embraced as a new addition to the banker's family. Subsequently, Jimmy pens a letter to his old friend Billy, revealing his reformation, impending marriage, and plans to relocate out west, leaving his past behind. He extends the offer of his precious collection of burglary tools to Billy and arranges a rendezvous in Little Rock the following Wednesday for their exchange. On the eve of Jimmy's departure for Little Rock, Ben Price materializes in Elmore, intent on apprehending him. The morning sees Jimmy sharing breakfast with the Adams family before embarking for the train station. In the presence of Annabelle's family, which includes her father and married sister along with her two young nieces, Jimmy accompanies them to the bank, briefly stopping by the hotel to retrieve his suitcase containing tools. Within the bank, Mr. Adams proudly presents his newly acquired burglar-proof vault, enthusiastically explaining its mechanisms. Amidst this demonstration, Ben Price enters the bank quietly, discreetly observing the scene. He informs the teller that he's waiting for an acquaintance. Suddenly, a piercing scream breaks the air as Annabelle's sister reacts. The two young girls had been captivated by the vault's workings, leading the elder one, May, to accidentally seal her younger sibling, 
Agatha, inside by mimicking her grandfather's actions. Due to the vault's recent installation, its combination remains unset, rendering it unopenable. Agatha's cries escalate, and her mother's distress intensifies. Mr. Adams laments the absence of anyone closer than Little Rock who could unlock the vault. In a state of desperation, Annabelle implores Jimmy to intervene and rescue the little girl. Wearing an enigmatic smile, Jimmy requests the rose pinned to Annabelle's attire. Slipping the rose into his pocket, he removes his coat, rolls up his sleeves, and unveils his suitcase of burglary tools. In that moment, he reverts to being Jimmy Valentine, the accomplished criminal. Within a span of 10 minutes, he adeptly manipulates the vault's mechanisms, successfully liberating the trapped girl. Once the task is accomplished, he retrieves his coat and walks towards the exit. As if from a distance, he hears a voice calling Ralph. Yet he continues walking. Just outside the door, Price stands, awaiting his presence. Jimmy accepts his fate, saying, well, let's go. I don't know that it makes much difference now. In response, Price remarks that Mr. Spencer seems to be mistaken, asserting, I don't believe I recognize you. With that, Price turns away, strolling down the street, allowing Jimmy to embrace a fresh beginning, despite having just unveiled his true identity as the skilled thief, Jimmy Valentine. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.